Hi guys, Phil here. I'm just going to be doing a quick one now. I'm going to show you how to set up our 12 part grid in Adobe Illustrator. If you guys remember when we did the 12 part grid in InDesign, it's really easy to do because when you start the grid, uh, start the document up, you have the option of doing the layout, which is going to include all of the grid details that we require. But Illustrator doesn't. Damn you, Illustrator, you monster. Right, look, we're going to do A3, but it, you see it doesn't have the option for the grid or the board or anything like that. It's frustrating. Just click OK, here we go. That's ridiculous. I've already made an outrageous mistake by switching to the wrong format. There you go, it's so easy to make that mistake. Anyway, look, here I'm going to show you what to do. Draw a box that takes up the whole page like this. And then go to Object, Path, Offset Path. And I'm going to set this to minus whatever my, um, whatever my border is going to be. So in this case it's going to be 15 mil. And so that will offset the path like that. It basically duplicates this rectangle um, with a path that is offset the amount that we want. So if we'd have had a positive number it would have made it bigger, since we had a negative number, it's made it smaller. So let's delete the, ori delete the original, and now we've got this. Now we don't want to have this lurking throughout the rest of this document, so um, I'm going to convert it to a guide. So at the moment I can click on and off and select it. If you press Command 5, it will switch it to being a guide. In fact, when you roll over it, you can even say that it says guide. Wonderful. So now I've made a rectangle here. I'm going to click K. Keyboard increments is set to 0.5 millimeters, so I'm going to make it zero millimeters wide and then shift and click to the right. Uh, so now I've got a, a five mil gap. Now you notice what I'm doing here is that I'm going to make the gaps between the columns rather than the columns themselves. Because I know what width the column is going to be, uh, the gap is going to be. I could work out what width the column is going to be by using maths, or I could just let the computer do it for me. And since it's a computer and it likes doing maths, and I'm a person and don't really, um, I'll let the computer do it. So I've uh, got it lined up over here. So here's the important thing: is that the uh, the first one that I've got to put in the right hand side is going to align with the left hand side of the border. So it's on the outside of the border. It's not on the inside of the border. It's on the outside of the border. So I'm going to just Alt, drag it to the right, and that duplicates it, of course. I'm holding down Shift as well. Now I could step and repeat this um, just by manually doing it, but in fact I'm going to let the computer do it, so I'm going to click Control D, Command D if you're on a Mac like me. And what that does is it duplicates and replicates the last move that you did. So Command D, so I've got two columns, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I've got twelve columns now. I'm going to take the far right most gap line and align the left hand side of it with the right hand side of the outside of the margin border thing. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to go to this setting on the align. You get the align menu toolbar up by going to window align. Yours may start looking like that, so you notice that you don't have the feature that I had. You want to click here, show options, and you want to make sure that it's set to align to selection and not align to artboard. Make sure they're all selected and then click this here, horizontal distribute space. And what that does is it makes sure that each of the objects that you've got selected has an equal space between it. Blip. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is delete the first and last ones. Delete. Select all of the column gaps on the page and then click Command 5. And that's it. That's my 12 part grid done. So now I'm free to do whatever kind of fun, fanciful and exciting layouts that I desire using all of the same kind of techniques and monkey business that I showed you guys how to do in InDesign. It works more or less the same sort of way. You've got all the same sort of guides and you can use the vertical spacing technique that I showed you to great effect. And when you want to hide these, unfortunately it doesn't have the, the W 
thing that InDesign does, which hides all of the guides. But if you press Command and Semicolon, it hides all of the guides. Command, Semicolon, Command, Semicolon, Semicolon, Semicolon. There you go. I hope you like that, and I hope you guys find it useful. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, which I'm about to do. It's going to be exciting. See you then. Bye-bye.